What is up, fellas? It's again Hunter back with another epic video of Squad Busters. Today, I got something special for you. We're playing Squad Busters, but with a twist. No attacking other squads. What? That's right, we're going to win this game without touching an enemy. Sounds crazy? <laughs> let's dive in. All right, Hunters, let's see what we got to work with today. We can pick up our characters, but we can strategize with what we get. For this match, we got the Goblin and the Trader combo to start. So, perfect, let's start with that. Goblin is gonna get us some early gold and the Trader will convert that into gems. Let's aim for the classic form to maximize their abilities. With the Goblin dropping coins and the Trader giving us gems, we are set for the strong start. Once we got enough resources, we will add some muscles to the squad. And the Barbarian is a fantastic all-around character that can become elite, and that is a game-changer. We will also add Bo to handle monsters faster, and the Barbarian King to boost the melee troops attack. It's a no-brainer with what we have available. Now, the key to this strategy is to avoid combat and focus on resource collection. Stick to the edges of the map, stay out of sight, and keep collecting. Always remember to slow down and pick up the gems that the trader drops. Do you want a pro tip? Sometimes those gems can be a good decoy to distract the players, giving you a chance to escape. In this match, we don't have Greg or Mavis, but it's important to mention how great they will be in this strategy. Greg for chopping trees and Mavis for collecting carrots. That will be perfect. And of course, having the Hog Rider for speed boost will be awesome too, but again, we cannot pick our characters, so pay attention to the roster that the game gives you before each battle. You can try to go for a win without touching the enemy in many modes, uh, but it shines probably more in Piñata Party, Lutz Goblin Rush, Gift Critters and Wacamole. Just be cautious in modes like Royal Hunt and Angry Vines, where combat is unavoidable. Remember, Squad Busters is not all about destroying the other squads. You can play your own way, it's a collection game, it's not like a battle arena, like some other titles that we are probably used to. So focus on your strategy, see what you have available, try to use the characters that you have in the highest level, and create these combos that allow you to enjoy the game at your own pace and be victorious. And there you have it, fellas. We just won a match on a Squad Busters without attacking a single enemy squad. It's all about resource management and strategy movement. If you enjoyed this video, uh -huh. smash the like button, leave me a comment below, and let me know what strategies you would like to see next. This is Game Hunter, signing off. Keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, fellas.